I pity the fool that doesn't use Python. The most exciting result of our project so far is what Python does for advanced the advanced programmers, the kids who really take to it, because the, the ones who sort of want to stay up late at night and not get enough sleep because they're programming all the time. And the, w those students all of a sudden have a tool that can make th them able to write incredibly sophisticated programs. Perl has, with some justice, been described as a write-only language. You can write it, but it's very hard to read it afterwards. Python, on the other hand, tends to remain readable for a long time afterwards, and that's really important because code doesn't only have to be written, it has to be maintained, too. The power is in all the additional libraries that come with Python and, and the ability to uh, easily glue it into all your existing stuff. So Python has an extensible power to it that allows you to, to be a, a professional programmer and really do um, almost all of your work in Python. It's interesting that um, in, if you were learning another language, the most common problems would be syntax problems or even just figuring out some simple parts of the language. And the most problems that people come to me with is specific library issues or figuring out how some new um, thing, some new library works, like sockets or uh, CGI. I mean, these, these things never come up if you're learning C or, or C++ because you never get that far. Uh, a really cool thing we did this year was uh, we wrote CGI scripts, which are basically scripts that uh, interface you with the web so that uh, you can talk with forms and you can make quizzes and have it generate random data for the web and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Python made it a lot easier to do the CGI scripts because you didn't really have to s struggle so much with the syntax and you could focus more on the logic of, of the problem and really get to what you were trying to achieve you can grow into it because professional programmers use it for very sophisticated applications and there's huge libraries of, of uh, powerful r functions that you can use from Python. So it, it provided an opportunity. It, it was an ideally suited language for introductory programming. We've, we've tried Python. We like it and although we've uh, before we've tried new technologies almost every year this time we're sticking with it and this is we're probably we're st next year our third year we're still going to continue doing python and that's new for for program languages because years before we've switched languages every year python has so many users around the world by now and python is is everybody's language that's how i think about it it's code that you immediately share with people and you post a program and you know an hour later or a day later you get a question from someone who's using your program and there's really nothing more satisfying than knowing that something you did is being used by people out in the real world uh, and when you're doing a, a homework problem uh, in you know computer science when I did my homework in high school it's, it's uh, sometimes a challenge to solve a particularly tricky problem, but it's much more interesting to know you're doing something useful that's really a help to people and benefiting people. And, and that's what I like about open source and what I like about Python. Being involved in open source, and I've, and I've been doing sort of giving away software since about 86, I have met, virtually met, so many people um, in parts of the world with backgrounds and cultures that I would have never had the opportunity to meet otherwise. So working on open source and working on Python for me personally has, has really um, broadened my personal reach of people and, and contacts. And I, and I think that that's sort of an underestimated um, benefit of working on open source projects. Python is, is an open source product project and um, there's a lot, the community around it is very nice in uh, giving out the resources, the things that they learned, and explaining things and helping other people learn the language. And a lot of software that are developed using Python are open source, so you can use that software to learn programming. Python is our secret weapon. Um, it is the essential ingredient to our argument about speed to market. And it's the essential ingredient about turning power over from the programmers to the content people. So if Python is that important, it makes sense that it's, it's a strategic thing. We need to go and make sure that Python is secure for the future 
and that the team stays together and that it actually becomes very competitive, that Python becomes one of the most competitive uh, choices available to people in programming. I've been involved in programming for, wow, 30 years now. I think I wrote my first program in 1971. I've been programming seriously for 24 or 25 of those years. Uh, and I've never ceased to find it exciting, stimulating, challenging, and rewarding. I've seen a lot of tools and I've seen a lot of languages go by. Um, and I've never seen one that I like as well as Python.